Hallelujah, priest, Master Jesus. A man in authority will regret touching you for this particular reason. I think this particular prophetic title again, a man in authority will regret touching you. Hallelujah. I use this medium opportunity to welcome each and everyone under the sound of my voice in the name of Jesus. My Bible tells me that this is a day the Lord has made for us to rejoice and be glad. It is a privilege and not a right that I'm here today with another fresh word for each and everyone under the sound of my voice. God bless you, family, in the name of Jesus. I pray that as this prophetic word is being released, you will not go back the same in Jesus' name. If you are just coming across this channel or see my face for your very first time, may the Lord bless you. Hallelujah. As you're liking and subscribing, let the God that word in secret not pass you by. For in Jesus' mighty name. This prophetic title is talking about a man in authority with regret. This is actually what has been going on. And the Lord revealed this word as a confirmation for you not to give up. Hallelujah. You got it all wrong. Why are you thinking that everybody has abandoned you? Why have you been going through this mess alone? Praise Master Jesus. This particular prophetic that is talking about a man in authority will regret touching you in the name of Jesus. Can we pray together? Wherever you are watching me, straight forward to your hands as if you want to receive something in front. Lord, I declare and I decree for as many watching and connecting is over the hand that was Katina Kabue. I declare and I decree. Let this prophetic word meet us our point of need. For in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. May the Lord bless you, family, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm seeing authorities that are about to be punished. I'm seeing greater number of people that are, that are in authority going down. One thing about authority, I always love to demonstrate authority on this scripture. Hallelujah. Between Jesus and the Roman officer, the centurion told Jesus, No, Jesus said, let's go to your house. The centurion said, no. I don't want you to go. Stand here and speak a word. The, the man said, no, I am a, a soldier in, in, in charge, in command. I have soldiers under me. I tell them, go, they go. Tell them, come, they come. Jesus, speak a word from here. I know the situation will address. This was the word of the centurion. Jesus said, what a fate. Praise Master Jesus. So I love demonstrating authority between Jesus and the Roman officer. There are people that you don't need them to follow you in a, a company. There are people that you don't need them to go with you in that particular office for them to approve your document. Just a signature. They can just put a written, just a signature and their stamp. As you present it there, they will know that this stamp is coming for, from a man in authority. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Then, you might be the daughter of a governor or a president, whosoever. The moment you stand there and represent your father, just the name of your father represents you automatically. Nobody can delay with your document to be approved or whatever thing that you are expecting. People will respect you because of that authority. People will value you because of that authority. But the Bible makes us to understand that we do not fight against flesh and blood, against principalities, against powers, against rulers of wickedness in high places, against rulers of, of, of wickedness on this earth. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes. So every battle has its own power, forces, that is reinforcing it. Praise Master Jesus. So you cannot take the same energy or you cannot take the same capacity or, or the same weapon you can use to fight rulers of darkness or, or of this world to fight principalities in high places. Principality in high places was like Prince of Persia that held the prayer of Daniel, which Daniel, Daniel fought it through prayers. Principalities, wicked, rulers of wickedness of this earth. The earth is being ruled by men. So we don't fight men, hallelujah, only with, with, with the dynamis power. The dynamis power, you can enter out all tasks in the realms of the spirit and control things. But when it comes to the physical, praise Master Jesus, there is another realm. Praise Master Jesus. So right now, um, upon all these powers, upon all these authorities, but there is one among all them that is seated above the throne, higher than any other one, bigger than the biggest, greater than the, uh, than the greatest. I call him thy majesty, the captain of my salvation, the rod of Shalom, the ocean divider, 
the unchangeable changer, the I am that I am, the word, the one that speak a word, and it come to pass. I call him Elohim, the lion of the tribe of Judah. Daniel say, oh, you cannot intimidate me with the lion dance. If the lion dance is what you want to do, put me inside. The God I serve is the lion of the tribe of Judah. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego say, ah, is it the furnace? Send me inside. My father is the consuming fire. Oh my God. David in the wilderness say, ah, lion, oh my God. My, if my father is a lion of the tribe of Judah, I am stronger than you. Daniel went and took the, the sheep. Child of God, listen to me. The Lord said, I should speak to somebody. Authorities, men that has been in position where they have become a barrier, hallelujah to you. They have refused to approve your document or they have been fighting you every day. The Lord said, I should speak to, speak to you this day that he has made a verdict. He has made a decision that they are all going down. They are, they are about to regret that they touch you. Are you watching me right now? You're saying, Pastor, I submitted my document, my visa somewhere. I've been expecting the document to be approved. But yet men and women have sat on it. You're crying every day. Listen to me. It's about to be approved because God is saying that they're about to regret. My Bible tells me that who is that one that speaks for the word upon your life and it comes to pass when the Elohim Adonai has not spoken. Therefore, their words upon your life can never come to pass. Why? Because your God has not spoken. I stand in agreement with somebody today watching and connecting. I declare and I decree by that same power, by that same dynamic power that raised Jesus Christ from the dead, that could bring back a dead body to life. I speak that word in the life of somebody. Any man in authority, I do not care to know their name, that have sat on your document, that have sat on your destiny, that have sat on what belongs to you. I declare and I decree it is broken. They will regret touching you. Psalms 105 verse 15. It tells me that touch not my anointed and do my prophet no harm. Whoever touches me touches God because I am the apple of his eye. On that great I prophesy, somebody watching and connecting, your life will not remain the same. As you key and connect to this prophetic water, I want you to type Amen times 21. Drop it at the comment section, Amen times 21. As you drop Amen times 21, in the name of Jesus, may the Lord come true for you. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. Please, if we're blessed by this prophetic word and this prayer, hallelujah, please tap the share button as you're standing the gap also to spread the gospel to the greater number of people out there. As you are doing so, may my God bless you. For in Jesus' mighty name, this is Prophetic Blessings with Pastor Basil. I love you all, family. Thank you for watching. Thank you for coming. May the Lord bless you all in Jesus' name. Amen and amen.